Today's devotional is about fighting. Are you ready to fight today? Are you ready to endure today? We turn to 2 Corinthians 10, 4 through 5 in the King James Version that reads, For the weapons of our warfare are not of the flesh, but have divine power to destroy strongholds. We destroy arguments and every lofty opinion raised against the knowledge of God and take every thought captive to obey Christ. Man, if you need encouraging today, you came to the right place. <laughs> because it always seems like we're fighting against each other, right? I mean, all we have to do is turn on the news or ignore the temptations of what others are doing that causes us harm or just the hardship of the falseness in the world. It just seems like we're always in conflict with each other. But God teaches us that, no, we're not in conflict with each other, flesh and blood. But instead, we're in conflict with sin that's working within this world and within each of us who are allowing it to flourish. And I don't know about you, this may sound strange, but I'm more relieved knowing that I'm fighting against the principalities and powers of darkness than I am against you. <laughs> because first, I'm confident that God will not be overcome, right? Did you know just mentioning the name Jesus shines light in the darkness? And the darkness cannot understand it or perceive it or overcome it. <laughs> and second, I know that God is always faithful, that I know exactly what to do. I learned that in the last principle, self-control. I turned to God. God fights my battles, not me. Today, let God fight your battles because we are dealing with each other. Stop being so offended by what somebody else says or what somebody else thinks of you. Let God fight your battles in the dark places of sin and where Satan dwells, the father of lies. You know, we can hold every thought captive because they're not from each other. They're from the depths and pits of hell. And God has already given us victory through Jesus Christ. Let's pray. Father God, we thank you so much for the victory that you did on Calvary, Lord. That through the blood of Christ that you defeated the enemy, Lord. In His death, you conquered death. In His resurrection, you conquered death. There is nothing, Lord, that can be victorious over us. You've already achieved it. Lord, help us remember in our endurance, Lord, that it is You who've accomplished all things. And then we're not fighting against each other. We're actually fighting a battle of good and evil, Lord, and that we're on the right side. Lord, be with us today. Help us to quickly turn to you in our time of need. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.